these are my predictions for the 2015 P1 paper from AQA. So I just want to say straight off that I do not work for the exam board. Um, I don't know anyone that works for the exam board. These are purely guesses. So um, don't just revise the things I say in here and ignore the other stuff. It's really important that you cover everything in your revision. So looking back over the past papers, I would say roughly 20% of every P1 exam is maths. So it's really, really important you are confident answering the maths questions. I've got this little set of rules here um, that I like my students to follow when we're doing maths questions. I've got a whole video explaining that, so it's definitely worth you going to check that out. The other really, really important thing is that you learn your units. While you get given a formula sheet in the exam, it doesn't have the units on it, and the questions in the exam paper are going to have units in there. So if you want to be able to relate the exam questions back to the formula sheet, you are going to have to learn your units. That's so, so important. So, um, kind of a massy question again, but not going to come up on your formula sheet, is working out the cost of electricity, payback time and new values. Um, I think this is something that's going to be big this year. So I think it's worth um, practicing these a bit and remember they don't come up on the formula sheet. Six mark questions for P1 are really, really hard to predict because there are so many that they could ask. Um, I reckon it's going to be one of these ones, so it's really worth preparing these really well. So, um, energy transfers, so energy going in, energy coming out, um, so like energy when bungee jumping, changing types of energy, renewable energy, they really didn't ask much about all the different types of renewable energy this last year, so I think it's going to be um, big this year. And again, they didn't really ask too much about convection, conduction, or radiation last year. There's a great past paper paper question on um, the vacuum flask, which covers everything really well. So it's definitely worth um, checking out that one. And again, last year, they didn't really ask much about um, Big Bang or the start of the universe. So I reckon that could come up. Um, so these are the possible six mark questions that they could ask you. And don't forget, there's a massive shift um, towards writing more in exams. So they might ask um, two six mark questions. They might ask a six mark question, a five mark question, or a four mark question. All of them should be treated the same way. So waves, I think waves are going to be a big thing this year. Could be something to do with Doppler, Doppler um, effect or redshift. Again, it could be something to do with sound, um, frequency, amplitude or anything on the EM spectrum. And uh, drawing psychic Sankey diagrams, energy transfers, energy going in, energy coming out. So I'm talking like, you know, gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, light, heat, sound. I think that's going to come up this year as well. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.